What's up guys, Skittle Rampage here. So today we're changing it up and we're going to a comic book shop and we're going to see everything they have available in there. They should have some really great stuff, so let's go Funko Bob hunting. Today we're going Funko Bomb hunting and Sick Kicks here. They have a ton of new stuff in. Over in their My Hero Academia section, here's a little bit of what they have. They have Mirio, Suyu there. They also have Izuku Midoriya with his notebook. They do have Endeavor as well as Ijido. Over here they have Kakashi, Anbu, Asuma, and an Itachi. That's pretty cool. As well as Tobi, Gara, Rock Lee, Kakashi, and Sasuke. Over here they have a Madara reanimation as well as Sasuke Uchiha specialties. Oh, Naruto, Hello Kitty, the glow in the dark. They also have Sakura and Minato up here. The anime section is pretty stacked today. And for my Pokemon fanatics, here's a couple more different ones. We also do have this Diamond GameStop Pikachu, as well as Sylveon, Alakazam, Pidgeotto, Ponita, Caterpie, Mr. Mime, it just goes on. Down here, we have some of the Blacklight Elvira's here from Entertainment Earth, as well as the Diamond Collection one. They also had some Umbrella Academy here. Up top, they do have a ton of different Hunter Hunter commons and exclusives. Over here, they do have a Prince Harry as well as the E.T. moment here, probably one of the best moments of this year. Here's a couple cool little pops here, like Punchy there. We do have the Captain Crunch and Tricks boxes, Light Bright, some of the Tokidoki and Candyland. Over on this wall, they do have some of the new Black Clover up top, as well as they did have some Yu Yu Hakusho there like Kuwabara, Yoko Kurama, and Yusuke. I think I'm going to be grabbing this one today because it's vaulted and you don't see it every day and it's only 28 bucks. Here's a couple things they have for Dragon Ball like Android 16, King Cold is pretty cool, Goku Black. They also had Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta which was pretty cool as well as Emperor Pilaf and Goku Driving Exam. Over here, they do have Zamasu the Glow in the Dark Walmart one, really great pop. And down here, they do have Future Trunks and Jackie Chun. Over here, they have some of the diamond pops like Eevee, Squirtle, Jolteon, and Pikachu. Over here, they did have the Gloomy Bear set. I've never actually seen the chase in person, but it looks really awesome. They also had some Yu-Gi-Oh! and Saint Seiya there. Over here, they had some bigger pops like Balrog from Lord of the Rings and Immortal Hulk. For any FNAF fans, here's their selection. They do have a couple different cool ones. They do have a Hex Girls 3-pack from Scooby-Doo. Over here in their Star Wars section, they do have the Galactic Convention Luke as well as Chewbacca, Ben Kenobi on EOP, I think that's how you say that. They also have this old three pack from Walmart, kind of dusty. From Star Wars Rebels, they do have Zeb. This is actually a really cool find. You don't see these every day. Over here is a couple exclusives like Cassian, Dark Trooper, Obi-Wan Kenobi from the Funko Shop, Boba Fett, and Luke Skywalker. Here's a couple more Star Wars here, including some of the uh, Valentine's Day ones. Here's a couple droids like the Death Star droid in C2B5 and the Purge Trooper. Always love this mold. Over here is their small DC section. We have a couple Superman pops here from Hot Topic and the regular common. We also do a Batman there, the Drowned, uh, down here a Batman Funko Shop exclusive, some of the the Batman movie pops, Bruce Wayne Target, really like that pop. Um, down here some DC Bombshells, Harley Quinn, Imperial, oh they have the old Wonder Woman. They also have the Penguin Snowman down here as well as some of the Dia Day Pops. This reverse slash I'm definitely considering getting, it's only $14 which isn't bad. I'm also considering getting this Sonic where he's holding the ring, I really like this pop. For those enjoying House of Dragons, I wanted to show you some of the old Game of Thrones Pops they have here. For Disney, they do have some of the Blacklight Funko Shop exclusive jacks. They also did have some of the Bambi from SDCC, as well as some of the Make-A-Wish Pops here, all kinds. Down here, they have Dr. Facilier here, Maleficent, and Captain Hook. We do have some of the Pinocchio Pops here, Pinocchio and Geppetto. Always a really cool two-pack here, Donald, Angel, and Devil. Check out the Simba on Pride Rock VHS cover, love this. We do have some Frozen, Anna, and Elsa here, Mulan, Pocahontas, Moana, Pocahontas, Snow White, Isabella, Rapunzel, and Mexico. I'm surprised I did that in one go. Up here we do have Sleeping Stitch and Regular Stitch. We also did have a couple Megs from Hercules. We also did have some Monsters Inc, Boo, Sully with Boo, and Sully, the Flock exclusive. Oh, and we had a couple other ones like Celia, Val Little, and Tyler. And lastly, a couple more Disney, we did have some of the Alice in Wonderland as well as Beauty and the Beast. Here we did have the Entertainment Earth exclusive Ariel where she's like water. They should have made this glow though. Let's check out their Marvel section. Right here they do have the Walmart exclusive Mr. Knight from Moon Knight, Captain Marvel Blacklight, and this Groot Holiday covered in Christmas lights. Up top they have Gingerbread Captain Marvel and the Atom there. Over here they have Zombie Wolverine as well as the Captain America Blacklight. We do have Yelena, definitely my favorite character from that show. Black Widow Chase as well as Sylvie the Target exclusive Blacklight. Over on this side they do have the Spider-Man Captain Universe, love this pop. We also do have the Venomized Jack-O-Lantern and Silk. Down here we do have Captain America the GameStop exclusive, Iron Man Blacklight, as well as Thena there from Eternals and Cersei. And lastly, a couple gingerbread like Gingerbread Thanos and Black Panther. For any sports fans, it looks like they got in a couple Tom Brady's here. These are about $28, not too bad. We also have the Funko player that's limited to 3,000 pieces. Over here, we do have James Harden and Patrick Peterson, as well as Barry Sanders. Right here, they do have Chris Paul, Damian Lillard, and Joe Burrow. And you can't forget the GOAT, Michael Jordan. 
Over in their front case, they did have the Perfect Cell, Super San Broly, Naruto Sage Mode with the sticker, as well as Naruto Uzumaki Sexy Jutsu and Ichigo. And up top, they did have some of the Inuyasha, like Kagame, as well as Inuyasha and Seshimaru. Here's their little grail section. They do have a two-pack from NBA, really cool find, as well as Ghost Rider there, Akilua Chase, All Might with the Box Lunch sticker. They do have L with Cake there, Freddy Funko as Han Solo, R2-D2 from Galactic Convention, Darth Vader Bespin. Down here, they do actually have the Thor Chase, as well as regular diecast. Pop Protectors Blacklight, Leonard Hofstadter, Poison Spider-Man, and Mickey Mouse. Oh, and a couple autographs from Kevin Malone and Gabriel Glass. Hey guys, so we're back in the office. Now, I only picked up one thing today. However, that shop had so many great things that I definitely wanted to pick up. Like, they had a lot of great ones from Yu Yu Hakusho, a lot of great ones from Naruto, which I already have all of those anyways. My Hero Academia. Like, there were so many different anime ones. L with Cake, unfortunately, it has a special edition sticker, and if I'm going to spend that much, might as well get the Hot Topic sticker. But yeah, I feel like today, like, they had a lot of really great stuff. And I guess recently they must have gotten in a collection or something, because usually it's not all that great. They have some, like, cool little grails mixed in, but they were stacked today. Like, they had a bunch of amazing stuff. Now, the funny thing about this Botan Pop that I ended up picking up today was I paid $28, but what I didn't realize was over on eBay, it's actually a lot more. It's like $60 on eBay, so I paid, like, half price. I wasn't expecting that. I didn't realize that I was actually getting a huge discount. Funny enough, I didn't check for condition. It looked good in the protector, so we're going to check for condition. Maybe it's like horribly scarred somewhere and I just didn't know. Um, No, she's actually pretty good. Yeah, like there's a little corner like things and it has some sticker residue that it can get off from an old sticker. But other than that, this pop is probably like an 8.5 out of 10. It looks really good. We got it for half price. Was not expecting that deal. And I decided to pick this one up just because a lot of these are getting really expensive and harder to find. And I do have a couple in this set. And it's a set I would like to complete. Um, and you just don't see them every day. I, actually, I'll take it out of box for you guys really quick for any fans. Let me know if anybody owns these pops. Oh, that's pretty cool. I love when they do hidden details like that. But uh, let me know if anybody owns the Yu Yu Hakusho set here. And uh, there's, like I said, there's definitely other things I, I wanted to pick up, but I just decided not to because I didn't want to spend a bunch of money and because uh, I have New York Comic Con coming up, so that's just going to be a whole mess, like a whole expense in itself. So I'm trying to basically save some money for NYCC to spend there because I'm sure there's going to be plenty of pops that I want to spend there. I also have some really awesome stuff coming up for NYCC. Like You guys are not ready for the things I'm going to be doing while I'm up there. It's going to be so much fun. Really great video ideas coming, so just stay tuned for that. It's a little sneak peek teaser. I don't want to say any more. I don't want to spoil it, but we're going to have a lot of fun up there. Let me know if you guys have picked up anything recently. Have you guys gotten any really crazy deals? Actually, I didn't do a question of the day. So that's what the question of the day today is. Have you guys gotten any recent crazy deals on Funko Pops like I did? Because I got one half price today. Now, unfortunately, that's everything that I have to open with you guys today. I don't have any mail. I haven't really bought anything too much in the last week. Like, I think I have some things coming from, like, older purchases. But that this is, like, the only thing I've picked up in a while other than the Hot Topic hunts we did. Because, like, I've been doing a little bit more pop hunts news is kind of slow there's not really too much to talk about so switching it up a little bit doing some pop hunts going hunting i might go to more comic shops this week because like there is a hurricane coming so i gotta prep the videos in advance because our power's definitely going out with a category four hurricane coming so that's gonna be very interesting um hopefully it kind of like misses us just a little bit like kind of more into the water like i feel bad for the panhandle because it seems to be going there so everybody stay safe if you live in florida please stay safe we're doing our best like i spent today prepping that's why this video is going out a little bit later because i was getting like sandbags and other stuff so because we might experience some flooding anyways i'm sure you guys don't care about all that we're talking about pops here thank you guys so much for watching this video we'll probably see more pop hunts throughout this video uh right before the um hurricane hits i might not have any power i don't know exactly how it's going to go with like the videos maybe later on i'm going to try to prep as many videos as possible in advance we'll see what happens i'll update you guys on twitter because i'll still have my phone at least anyways though again thank you so much for watching this video i just went on some random tangent for no reason now with that i do want to say a big shout out to all the patreon supporters thank you guys so much i really do appreciate your love and support if you guys want to check out the Patreon, the link is down below we do have a patreon only discord where we share a lot of information news restocks updates links and more there's a lot of great people you can meet we have roughly around 200 people i think in the discord now a lot of great friends you can make a lot of great people in there so check that out it's two bucks if you guys want to join you get access to all kinds of cool information now we also do have a facebook group with over 15,000 members that's buy sell and trade and make sure to be following me over on my social medias at skittle rampage on twitter instagram and my facebook page to stay up to date all right love you guys see you guys in the next one see you guys later bye